Introduction to Fourth Generation Computers Welcome to our journey through the evolution of computers. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of fourth generation computers, the machines that revolutionize the way we use technology. Fourth generation computers emerged in the 1970s and brought along some incredible advancements. One of the standout features of fourth generation computers is the use of microprocessors. These tiny yet powerful chips, also known as microchips, contain the entire processing unit of a computer on a single integrated circuit. This innovation allowed computers to become much smaller, more efficient, and faster. At the heart of these advancements was VLSI technology, that's very large scale integration. This technology allowed thousands, or even millions, of transistors to be packed onto a single microchip, vastly increasing computing power while reducing size and cost. These computers also offered vast improvements in storage capacity. With the introduction of hard drives and floppy disks, users could store more data than ever before. And when it came to power consumption, fourth-generation computers were a game-changer, they used less electricity compared to their predecessors, making them more environmentally friendly and cost-effective. This paved the way for personal computers, or PCs, to enter homes and offices worldwide. Identifying a microchip Now, let's take a closer look at the microchip. This tiny, rectangular piece of silicon is the brain of the computer. It contains millions of transistors, which work together to process information. Without microchips, modern computers as we know them wouldn't exist. Microchips are essential for executing instructions and performing calculations at incredible speeds, making them the backbone of all modern computing devices. Exploring Processor Architecture now, let's dive into the fascinating world of processor architecture, the heart of every computer. A processor's architecture refers to how its components are organized and how they interact with one another. During the era of fourth-generation computers, processors typically used 32-bit or 64-bit architectures, which enabled them to handle larger amounts of data and perform more complex tasks with greater efficiency. The processor is made up of several key components that work together to execute instructions and process information. These include the control unit, CU, the arithmetic logic unit, ALU, and registers. The control unit acts as the conductor of the processor, directing all operations by sending signals to different parts of the computer to ensure that instructions are executed in the correct sequence. The arithmetic logic unit, or ALU, is responsible for performing all mathematical calculations and logical operations, such as addition, subtraction, and comparisons. Now, let's talk about registers, small, fast storage locations within the processor that temporarily hold data during processing. There are five main types of registers, each with a specific function. 1. Accumulator, AC. The accumulator is one of the most important registers. It stores intermediate results of arithmetic and logic operations. For example, if the processor is performing a series of additions, the accumulator holds the sum before it's sent to memory. 2. Memory Address Register, MAR. The MAR holds the memory location of data that needs to be accessed. Whether the processor is reading data from memory or writing data to it, the MAR keeps track of where that data is located. 3. Memory Data Register, MDR Also known as the Memory Buffer Register, MBR, the MDR temporarily holds the data that has just been read from memory or is about to be written to memory. It acts as a buffer between the processor and the main memory. 4. Program Counter, PC The program counter keeps track of the processor's position in the instruction sequence. 
It holds the address of the next instruction to be executed, ensuring that the processor follows the correct order of operations. 5. Instruction Register, IR. The instruction register holds the current instruction that is being decoded and executed. Once the instruction is fetched from memory, it is stored in the IR, where the control unit interprets it and directs the processor's actions accordingly. All these parts work together to execute instructions and deliver results at lightning speed. Thanks to the innovations of the fourth generation computers, we now have the powerful, efficient, and affordable devices that are an essential part of our everyday lives. From microchips to processor architecture, these advancements have paved the way for the technology we rely on today. Stay tuned for more explorations into the world of technology, where we'll continue to uncover the history and future of computing. Thanks for watching this video, please subscribe like and share.